on classifying triangles, okay? So basically there's three types of triangles. The first one I've kind of talked about, and who can guess what that one's called? The one that's equal. Oh, yes, wow. the equilateral. Very good, so write that down, equal. Isn't that weird that you change it to equal instead of equal with an A? Just saying. <laughs> lateral, equilateral, triangle, and what does this mean that it's equilateral? All the sides are equal. Every single one of them. The next one I want you to see. Yes, Isaac? It's called an isosceles. The way I remember that is two sides are equal. So I think of twins and identical. Isosceles, identical. That just helps me if, that, if you want to use that to help you. This one's called isosceles. Isosceles. Okay? An isosceles has two lines that are the same length, but one of them is different. And then the last one is, oh dear, well, there you go. Well, you're just draw it with three different lengths, try to if you can, okay? So this one is called scalene. Scalene means that all three of the sides are different lengths. Okay? That was hard to do. It is hard to do. Here's the way the book does it. Is that a C or an E after the S? C. Okay. I didn't mind like this. Does that count as a C? I guess it probably could, although it's a 90 degree angle. Um. Yeah. What does it do? I have a 90 degree angle. It's kind of hard. This is probably the best one if you can try to draw that. Because this bottom one's the longest than this one than this one. Yeah, that one, the one on the right is like barely. Uh-huh. Okay. Does everybody understand those three points to it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, we talked about the sides, okay? This one's equilateral, this one's isosceles, and this is scalene. Now we're going to talk about the angles. Okay, I thought we did this already. It's okay if we did. I think we did. Okay. Um, what does an acute triangle mean? Acute. Um, one yes, Esther? A triangle that is like below 90 degrees? Yes, okay. So acute means less than 90 degrees. So basically like angle. Okay, so basically what that means is that every angle I draw is less than 90 degrees. This one's less than 90, this one's less than 90, and this one's less than 90. So that one's an acute triangle, okay? I, you don't actually have to, this one kind of looks like an equilateral, but it doesn't necessarily have to. Just all three angles has to be less than 90, okay? A right triangle. Right triangle, yes, Isaac? Is it like every angle? Close, keep moving. What do you know about right, what do you know about right angles? It's 90 degrees. One side is 90 degrees. That is what a right triangle is. One angle is a right angle. Okay? What do you notice about the other two? They are acute. Okay? But they're not all three acute because this one is 90 degrees. And acutes are less than 90. Everybody understand that? All right. And then the last one. Oh, dear. Ready? There we go. You may know what that one's called. Yes, Jaden. This is a, the obtuse triangle. Okay. What do you notice about the obtuse triangle? Yes, Isaac. One angle, just like the right one, has one angle. The obtuse triangle has one angle that is obtuse. Okay. What do you notice about the other two? They're cute. Okay. You you cannot make. An obtuse triangle with more than one obtuse tri more than one obtuse angle. Because if I do, there's whoops, there's one. And then if I start to try to make this angle obtuse, well then you don't have a triangle. Got it? <laughs> so if this angle's obtuse and this angle's obtuse, you cannot have a triangle. So there's only gonna be one angle that's obtuse. Everybody understand? Okay? That's less than 93. Wow. Simple as...